Hello and welcome to our always surprising No Ticket Required Cinema Club. I am John Davis, tutor in contemporary film and theatre at Morley College. We have two more sessions to go before the summer break, after which our in-person French impressions should be starting again on September the 25th. And remember, Waterman's is now open again for real live screenings. Well, there are no foreign office restrictions on where we travel in our film choices, and we're off to watch an Italian film for the first time. Our theme is summer films, many of which are full of optimism and the happy memories of youth. And you could have voted for one like that, but instead chose this one, which really isn't full of summer smiles at all, and should be all the more interesting for it. So let's have a look at the trailer. Marchese Tancredi de Luna è il padrone dell'inviolata. Gli esseri umani sono come bestie, animali. Liberarli vuol dire renderli consci della propria condizione di schiavitù. The director is Alice Rowasher. She's a German-Italian director who came through documentary filmmaking to find acclaim with her first feature, Heavenly Body, a coming-of-age film set in a corrupt Catholic church. Her second film, The Wonders, was an intriguing look at a farming family producing honey and what happens when they come into contact with a trash reality TV show and in Italy they can be really trashy and it won the Grand Prix at the Cannes Festival in 2014. Happy as Lazaro, our choice today, is her third feature and won Best Screenplay at Cannes. She has a very particular and imaginative style of filmmaking that brings hope, I'd say, for the Italian film industry that's been in the doldrums compared to its glory days in the last century. And here's what she says about some of the themes in the film. E non c'è, diciamo, era tanto tempo che io raccoglievo materiali su questo passaggio, sul passaggio da un passato a un presente, e un passato che è al di fuori del tempo, perché in qualche modo l'uomo ha vissuto in continuità, in un tempo circolare in Italia almeno fino agli anni Ottanta. E poi all'improvviso è stato portato dentro il tempo, dentro un altro tipo di tempo che è più, non è più circolare ma è lineare in qualche modo. Tutto è cambiato eppure è, come dire, tutto si è cambiato di abito, eppure profondamente quanto è cambiato, forse dentro di sé l'uomo non è cambiato così tanto. Insomma volevo raccontare questo passaggio e poi volevo anche raccontare un passato senza nostalgia un passato non come luogo, di, come luogo che è chiuso, che ci manca, dove vorremmo ancora essere, ma un passato non finito e quindi che si può sviluppare in un potenziale futuro, un passato come luogo della potenzialità. The lead actors are the Spanish Sergi Lopez, who we know from Dirty Pretty Things and Pan's Labyrinth, and as the evil Marchesa Alfonsina da Luna, 
we see Nicoletta Brasci, a well-known Italian actor, who you may remember from her husband Roberto Benigni's Life is Beautiful. The lead is a non-professional actor, Adriano Tardiolo, and he's a newcomer found after extensive auditions and completely by chance. He was an 18-year-old economics student who'd never acted before. The film is set in 1977 in an isolated rural part of Italy that's never specified. It explores many themes and will provide ample scope for debate looking at a still feudal society, the compliance of the church, and all blended with a spot of magical realism. And as ever, there'll be a lot to talk about, I'm sure, and I look forward to seeing you at 8pm on the 21st of June. And this is what you do now.